Hey, what's happening, guys? It is currently uh, Sunday, September 25th, 2022, when I'm recording this. This is the one year anniversary of my mom's death. And I'm having a hard time today. So I'm going to make a video, and uh, hopefully, you guys can help me out a little bit by watching the video and get my mind off things. Thank you very much. Hey, what's happening, guys? You guys remember this little smart car we built from the uh, Elecro Raspberry Pi Pico kit. Well, we're going to talk more about the Pico today. Because I think it is a really cool little microprocessor with a lot of potential. But what really annoys the crap out of me is they printed all the pin labels on the bottom. So you got to get yourself... Uh, diagram every time you want to use this and count pins so ordered us a little something here this is from WaveShare and it is for the Pico here what this is <laughs> like weather stripping interesting use oops so this is pretty much just a uh, a little port expander trying to make things easier to use those pins don't quite line up but it worked so now, when we're using the Pico, you can see we have all of our labels and know what everything is, and we have places to add some extra stuff. So, I got us some extra stuff too. Again, this is from Waveshare. These were very reasonably priced, I think. For both of these on Amazon, I spent less than twenty dollars. This one is a color TFT LCD screen with a joystick and two buttons, which we can. Put on to one of these guys right here, like so. You have any idea where I'm going with this? This just might be my new um, environmental garden controller, perhaps. But we're going to see how we can get this thing working. So, unfortunately, there's all as you get. Pico LCD 1.14. I mean, we don't really need anything for this. Pico Dual GPI, B, 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 can't talk, GPIO expander. Yeah, this is really nice. You got the uh, flak back solder mask, gold plated connections they've, they've you know somebody's done a really really nice job here i, I like it hopefully it works <laughs> let's uh go over to the computer and we'll take a look real quick at the uh page where i bought this and we'll see if we can glean a little bit more information okay so here's the page where i purchased it WaveShare 1.14 inch LCD display module for Raspberry Pi Pico, 65,000 RGB colors, 240 by 135 pixels with SPI interface, embedded ST7789 driver using SPI bus IPS screen. There you can get an idea of the bottom view of it there. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's made to clip directly onto the back of the Pico. Well, you have to get me one of those. There you go, get an idea of the picture. So pin 40 is the V bus. That's good to know. All right, let's scroll down and see what they have to say. Bum, 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 bum. LCD in the controller, ST7789VW is a single chip controller driver. TFT LCD 2. This LCD accepts 8, 9, 16, 18 bits parallel interface. Color format used is RGB565. Four line spy for reducing GPIO, fast LCD. Again, really not much of anything. You put images, ghosting, where can I find? Aha, uh -huh. okay, here we go. Where can I find the development resources manual? Uh, here we go. So if we copy this. Okay, here we are. So supply voltage 2.6 to 5.5, 40 milliamps, green type IPN. Well, there's a communication protocol. I'm hoping there's something a little easier than that. Reset pin slave. Yeah. Hardware connection. I'm I'm just trying to find so here we go, here we go. Version four version we have version two which has the joystick. See example. Python, so we want, we want the Python. Okay, application functions. We provide basic GUI function. I think we found in the directory, so. All right, so now we've got what we need here. Rotate image. Pixel. Our window, draw point, draw a line. Draw a rectangle. How do we put text on the screen? Show an ASCII character. X star can configure the font. Foreground the background. So avoid paint. Draw a character. U word. X start. U word. Y start. Constant character. ASCII character. Font. Color foreground. Color background. Sure makes sense. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So I will download these demo codes and uh, we'll see if we can make this happen. Okay, so I've got the Pi connected. I've got Thawney running here. You can see we have the REPL going down here. Let's say file, open. Oh, wrong one. File, open from the computer. Desktop. Pico code, Pico code, Python. This is the Pico LCD 1.14 v2. All right, so here's our code. So... From machine, we're going to import pin, which allows us to control and talk to the different GPIO pins. Spy, which is, of course, the uh, serial uh, uh, interface. And PWM, which is our pulse width modulation. We're also going to import frame buffer, which I'm not quite sure what that one is. And time, which allows us to have timers. So master out slave in is on pin 11 our s clock is on 9 chip select is on 10 dc is on 8 I'm quite sure what bl is so we're creating a class called lcd 1 inch 14 using frame buff frame buffer it will have a write command the write data 
initialize display. It's just sending hex codes. All right, so here is our main. So PWM equals PWM pin BL. So that BL pin that we saw up here originally, pin number 13, is being referenced here. Our PWM frequency is 1K, 1000 hertz, and our duty cycle is 32768, which is about half of that. So LCD equals LCD 1 inch 14 color BRG blue red green LCD fill LCD white so that'll make a white background LCD show then we have our LCD text Raspberry Pi Pico I forget what this used to say Pico 114 but I changed it to learn electronics just to make sure that that was working another text I, I like that this is really easy to do the text LCD text position and color then we can draw lines horizontal line starting at 1010 10, extending 220 pixels in blue horizontal line starting at 10 125 220 pixels so we're drawing a border around the screen here basically LCD okay so these are our buttons key A key B pins they are set as inputs with pull-ups Trying to think about the joystick. The joystick would have five and then A and B. Okay. So we say if key A, which is pin 15 value, is zero, then we're going to fill the screen with red, else we fill it with white. Okay, I get what's going on here. So we're going to have little boxes appear on the screen. And if we click the button, they should color in. LCD show time sleep, that's our timer, and LCD fill at OX, F, 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 which I assume is white. So let's run it. And let's have a look at it over on the, uh, on the Pico itself. All right, so we got everything. Load it up there and ready, and that is not the right cord. Shoot. One moment. All right. We got the right cable this time. So hopefully it will draw enough current to power up my power bank. There we go. Zoom in here so you guys can see. Raspberry Pi Pico. So here's our joystick. Up, down, left, right. Oh, not enough. All right, where were we? Click, button A, and button B. And as you can see, I was able to put my logo on there. So very interesting now my next question becomes can I power this thing from an 18650 which I'm sure I can so I got some of these holders by Lamu this is a PCB mount, so got some of these prototype type boards here. Yeah. Nothing quite nothing quite lines up where we want it to. I think we might be better off using a smaller board yeah I think that's what we're gonna do let's try that
All right, so you watch me sir, solder this header board on here like so. And I'm just gonna put a mark here. So I know which way is up. So I need to get the power to the V-SYS, which is the second pin down and ground. Second pin down and ground. Okay. So let's do this. connect these together hopefully it's a nice solder bridge I don't know if that one made it there we go give me a second for that to cool I'll zoom you in here and as you can see focus we have two nice solder bridges which are now, pardon me, I'm still coughing, accessible on the back side here. So, what I want to do is now solder this guy on here like so. So what I'll do is I'll, I will tin these first. Remember, the old saying Master Chief Lopez taught me over 30 years ago in basic electricity and electronics. Solder flows where solder's been. Okay, so now I can sit that there. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to, whoops. Then I'm going to tin up a couple of these pads here. That's the plus side. Goes like that. And what I'm hoping here is to drop my pliers. Hope to be able to just maybe bend that a little bit. I think this one on the bottom is going to be a slightly more difficult. Do we get it this time? think we did so now I just need a couple pieces of wire all right while you weren't looking I just went ahead and soldered it together I'm 
make sure everything is on right. 18650. Gotta be shit. I don't think this one wants to fit in there. At least if I have one without a button on the end of it. All right, as luck would have it, we got one right here. And there we go. Everything's working as it should. I think we've got something pretty cool here to work with. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys, especially for being with me here today. God bless you all. That's it. I'm out.